Well, finally, after a couple of years of not exactly winter weather, we finally got our first good snow yesterday. And I'm sure there were plenty of people who pulled the covers over their head and stayed there most of the day. Uh, but I got up on time because I knew that it was going to be my, my first chance in a long time to wear clothes I don't normally get to wear. I have a Norwegian sweater from L.L. Bean that I got when I was 18 by trading with one of my friends in the dormitory in college uh, for a sweater that she had stolen from her brother, I guess, and somehow it came to me. I, I don't know. But I've had this thing for, what, 40 years now. And I don't get to wear it very often, but it's been sort of a constant in my life all the way through ever since I got it. I have pictures of me wearing it in Greece and in Israel and in Switzerland and in Canada. I don't even know where else. It's always been in my wardrobe. How many can th things can we say we have in our wardrobe that are 40 years old? I, mean, I, I guess we keep a few things, but an awful lot of things wear out. And this is one that has been a constant all along through my life. It's still there, and in a way it reminds me of who I used to be as much as who I am, although I still find it very comfortable to wear. This, I think, is a key to understanding what Jesus is telling Peter in the Gospel story this morning. Now, you may know that this particular set of verses has been used through history mostly as a way of justifying the power of the bishops of Rome. They say, well, okay, Peter got this thing from Jesus, and we are Peter's successors, therefore we have this thing from Jesus too. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. It's hard to say exactly what that should be interpreted to mean. But plainly, the, the saying was not simply for the bishops of Rome, but for all of us. And so we all have to interpret it in some way. I think what comes to us like the old sweater is this idea that the confession of what we believe, saying right out loud what it is that we believe, that Jesus is in fact the Son of God, God come among us, is that old sweater. It is the, 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 the constant in our life of faith as things come and go in our lives. Jesus promises that that will remain. That's the rock that the church is built on. That's the rock that our faith is built on. That whatever may change, whatever may come or go from each one of our lives and our life together, that much remains. That God is with us. God is with each one of us, and God is with us collectively. And if we have that as our assurance, then all other things can be born. All other things can be overcome when necessary. All other things can be done, no matter how difficult they may seem. So, dear friends, once in a while it's helpful to pull out the old sweater of faith. Remind ourselves of what it was that Peter said that turned out to be exactly what was needed for everything that followed. We, too, are invited to say the same say who Jesus is for us individually, for us as a church, for us as the world. And to let that be what drives everything else that we do, everything else that we say, everything else that we endure for the sake of the kingdom of God. Jesus is with us. Amen.